Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Dalrin, and if you're like me, you might be missing your alt characters. Some of you are actively alting and playing multiple characters, but if you're somebody like me who's trying to be competitive in terms of PvP, trying to stay relevant in a raiding guild and trying for progression, then like me, you're spending probably a lot of time on your main just farming that artifact power in order to get a little bit extra DPS out of that character. Regardless, I still do miss my alts and I've been playing them for a little bit. Some alts I've been able to level up to level 110, like my Hunter and Demon Hunter, but other alts I've simply been playing just for fun, even at lower levels, and I've been honestly enjoying it. So this is my list of my favorite alts in Legion so far, whenever I'm not going around playing my Rogue. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video, and let's get right to it. The first alt on the list is my Demon Hunter. With infinite potential for damage, the newest addition to the game is a blast to play in PvP. The class is so interesting and complex, and no one will ever know what the hell I'm talking about. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold it, hold it right there, Buster Brown. Relax your finger away from the dislike button, and hear me out. I understand that no one actually likes Demon Hunters. Well, I mean, some people do. But generally, Demon Hunters are pretty dislikable by many. They stole so many abilities from other classes. They got an improved role from monks that deals good damage. They stole Metamorphosis, which was originally a warlock ability, and they can fucking fly. They obviously stole that one from Overwatch. What an imagination. GG Blizz. But look, let's be honest. Demon Hunters are strong. Some might say the stupid kind of strong. Most of us enjoy something overpowered. We all, as human beings, can enjoy raw power. That's something Demon Hunters bring to the table. Think of Demon Hunters as that backup class to your favorite class in case you get nerfed. No matter the changes, you always have a class that can dominate in a few battlegrounds just for cathartic purposes. My second favorite alt is the Hunter. I feel that Hunter is a class that anyone can enjoy and everyone should honestly play them. There are a few advantages of playing Hunters. They're fairly noob friendly, allowing you to perform well when learning the class and what it does. Some classes take time to get good at before you see any real progress in terms of damage, but Hunters are kinda easy to pick up, but they still have their own skill caps. I like that I can have fun playing Hunter without effort, and not because I'm a lazy person. Well, I am. But with the current artifact power system in Legion, it takes some serious effort to catch up to everybody else. I'm glad that most of the Hunter's toolkit isn't strictly reliant on the artifact weapon, honor talents, or any of those sorts of things, which makes the plug and play process of playing a Hunter that much easier and enjoyable. I feel that Hunters are fairly well rounded, whether you're looking at PvE or PvP perspective of the game, and Hunters is the kind of class you want to invite to many of your PvP lobbies and even raids. Next is Shadow Priest. I think they're probably the most interesting caster. I mean, think about it. They aren't quite a warlock, but they dot like one. Hmm. They aren't a mage, yet they cast like one. They're just a mystery, trapped in the clutches of time and space, misunderstood yet powerful beyond measure. They aren't mechanically conventional to any other caster. They're like Jupiter, floating in the emptiness of space, embracing the deep dark skies that surround them. They're one with the darkness, a growing void of unmatched potential, unmistakable for- But in all seriousness, they just make me think of my favorite tentacle hentai. Oh! Elemental shamans are also a ton of fun and they are my second favorite caster on the list in the game. When you throw meatballs around, oh, it just feels so satisfying. Powerful orbs of molten magma. I know chaos bolts are cool and all, but throwing around meatballs as a shaman is on a whole nother level. Thunderstorm also feels very powerful, especially with maps where you have knockback abilities, where you can literally take the whole enemy team and just let them fly into the abyss. It's just such a powerful feeling that allows you literally to thrash and throw around your foes around the map, and it just it feels godlike. What I like about shaman is the versatile and unique playstyle because you have a good mix of insta-cast abilities and castable abilities. There are moments where you're just standing there and casting at the enemy back to back to back, but you can also switch your playstyle into more of a mobile playstyle where you're slowing the enemy, keeping all the hots and dots on them, 
you're able to run around and knock people back you're able to throw in totems for extra utility i feel like there's just so much more of a dynamic play style when it comes to playing an elemental shaman compared to some of the other casters who usually do the same thing every single go i've also been a very big fan of the whole totem mechanic to be able to place this pet like thing npc totem on the ground that has some cool effect but that effect can be amplified to be that much stronger because enemies actually have to kill it i feel that it's one of the interesting ways of what it is to be a shaman is the totem mechanic the fact that you're putting down some npc style item on the ground that has a powerful effect that enemies can counter but because it has a health pull and enemies can literally kill it with their auto attacks then you're able to maximize its effectiveness and with the things that it can do like counter strike totem for example i think is a really interesting idea to be able to give this like thorns effect for shamans i like the sky fury totem to be able to buff all your friendlies in terms of critical spells and casts i think it's just a very interesting uh, mechanic the totem mechanic in general and finally i have warrior which i feel like is one class that many people can connect with you're not some wizard you don't have any special tricks or special abilities it's just you your weapon your armor and your skill you fiercely charge in head first no matter how many chaos bolts and meatballs flying all over the place no matter how many death knights are going in striking you with obliterates you're always going to be there to parry mortal strike and intercept and fear your enemies you literally put fear into your enemies through physical will and i feel like a lot of people can relate to the warrior class on more than epic levels is because they're basically human and pretty basic they don't have some crazy like rogue subtlety teleporting abilities oh that's cool warrior just does the good old charge good old leaps good old fury good old arms good old protection no crazy bs except ignore pain honestly things are a little bit overpowered when it comes to pvp because i feel like it's just really difficult to kill a protection warrior but i feel like i'm ranting at this point but a warrior i feel like is such a classic character and i feel like blizzard did it so well and it's just something that I can enjoy because it feels so, so human, so relatable. And that was my list for my favorite alts of Legion. If you guys have a main character but you also have been enjoying some alts, please let me know which alts have you been enjoying in the comments below. And if maybe some of my alts have been matching up with yours. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you liked the comedy and the jokes that have been thrown in the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.